What's going on YouTube? This is your guy Garrett from Kings Black Gaming and I'm back with another video. So my fellow Xbox fans are going off over what looks to be developers not caring for Microsoft. From Cliffy B not bringing lawbreakers to Xbox to Bungie reportedly not making Destiny 2 60 frames per second on a Scorpio and Sony getting all the marketing deals. The problem is Everyone is looking at shit on the surface. Me, I like to look a little deeper because I know this isn't some out the blue shit. This goes way back before the X-Men took over at Xbox. Now, if you are in the know of gaming news, then you probably heard about how much Microsoft used to be assholes last gen. They were assholes towards their own devs, not allowing them to work on other IPs, just the big IPs they were already working on. They were assholes towards the indie devs, making them launch their titles on Xbox 360 or some shit like that. They were also assholes to everybody, except their customers. They really looked out for us. The problem is, when you are an asshole or you treat someone in a manner that really bothers them, a little bitch named Karma usually brings that fuckery back to you later on in the form of payback. The sad part is that Xbox loyal customers are feeling the effects of this karma, yet we had nothing to do with what was done to warrant such things. Don Matrick was a fucking asshole. The guy even charged devs a five figure fee to patch their games on Xbox 360. You would think that shit would be good now that Microsoft has gotten rid of him and Phil Spencer is the top dog in the Xbox division. Unless Phil was in on those asshole ways. <laughs> Look, call me a conspiracy theorist all you want. I don't care. I openly admit my tinfoil hat is on right now. Tighter than a fat boy in some skinny jeans. Fuck it. I'm sorry, I can read between the lines. Bungie could probably make a 60 frames per second mode on the Xbox Scorpio, but they won't because they don't fuck with Microsoft. Cliffy B's team could do the extra work to get lawbreakers on Xbox One, but he won't because he don't fuck with Microsoft. Sony probably got the Far Cry 5 marketing deal for half off simply because these devs don't fuck with Microsoft. Now, to the credit of Cliffy B, we all know the ES RAM is a bitch to develop with, and he has set his eyes on Project Scorpio saying, Microsoft is getting their shit together. They're putting in a back they're putting it in a backpack or in a shit museum museum and they're getting it all together. Scorpio is promising. Microsoft bet on connect too hard last round. Don't rule out an Xbox version of Lawbreakers, by the way. So He's not ruling out an Xbox version of Lawbreakers, but he is not going out of his way to bring the game to the platform. He's not fucking with that ES RAM. He wants to go straight to the Scorpio and the Scorpio only. You could tell. Now, and this is bad. It's bad. Microsoft needs to go out of their way and build their relationships up with the developers. Sony was an asshole towards the customer by charging 600 bucks for the PS3, but they were always good with the devs. Devs bring the games. Games bring the customers. Microsoft needs to grease some palms or something. You can't have devs skipping your platform. You can't have devs half-ass developing for your platform, especially when you have the most powerful console ever. How powerful is that console if developers won't utilize the power? You need marketing deals in order to reel in the casuals. Yes, marketing deals matter. Look, last gen, Xbox was out here looking like Tony Montana. They beat the odds. They came from nothing to having their foot on Sony's fucking neck. The world was theirs. The problem is they never understood the importance of keeping good rapport with the devs. Now they are finding out the hard way that the developers are like Alejandro Sosa. And we all seen what he did to Tony Montana. 
Let me know what you guys think. Comment, like, subscribe. King's Blood, out.